So here we have our patient, and today we're going to be psychologically conditioning him to fear noise associated with hot sauce. Here is our hot sauce. It is our unconditioned stimulus. Bring in the hot sauce, sir. Ah! Come and take it away. Get it away. Get it away. Take it. I don't need it. Oh. Okay. Okay. Now that was our unconditioned response. Fear and pain. Next, we will be making him afraid of a simple noise. So next, when he brings in the hot sauce, we will play the noise at the same time. Okay, bring in the hot sauce. Hold it right there and give it to him. <laughs> okay, that didn't work, so we're going to get to work now. Bring in the hot sauce and I'll play the noise at the same time. Here we go. Now we play the noise and he give him the hot sauce. So the condition response. Calm oh, down, sir. Oh, right, take it back. Take it back. Take it. I don't need it. All right. So that the conditioned response, pain, is going to be the same as the unconditioned response, and that the unconditioned stimulus, the hot sauce, is the same as the conditioned stimulus, the noise. So let's do it again. Go on. Oh, no! 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 No, 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 ah, no, please, please take it away, please, right, take it away, take I don't it away. need it, no, oh. take it away, so now watch, when we play the noise, which is the conditioned stimulus, he will still give us the same response, ah, take it away, I don't need it, no, take it, see, oh. see, and that's how you do it kids, psychologically torture your friends, hello, today we will be offering conditioning our subject right here, because he was good this morning, we will give him a positive reinforcement, a new car. Oh, yes! Finally! Oh my goodness, yes! Because he was bad, oh, we will give this. him a negative punishment and remove the reward. Wait, what are you doing? What? No! Next, also because he was bad, we will give him a positive punishment and add the punishment of getting shot. Because, stop. because he was good, we will use negative reinforcement and remove the punishment. You are free to go, sir. So now for test three, we will be doing social learning theory. Our subject here will do something. Now, after our second subject sees this man doing this, he will now know how to do it as well. And that is how social learning theory works. So here we have test four. Our two subjects here are speaking a strange language. Okay, and here we have our other subject listening uh, in. Despite the fact that he does not seem like he understands it, he's actually late at learning. And later, when he comes to sit down, when he comes to sit down and look at his homework, which involves the same language, he actually knows how to do some of it because all along while they were talking, while they were talking, he was actually learning and understood. So here is test five. Our subject does not know how to climb this wall that is very challenging. No matter how hard he tries, he just can't do it. So eventually he gives up. When all of a sudden, insight hits him and he immediately knows the solution. So he walks back up and he knows the exact solution to the problem and climbs the wall with ease. <laughs>